we live. But yeah, I like I think like I had an opportunity with a virgin, but I just didn't want to do it because I didn't want to defile her. I didn't like I didn't want to, it would be me defiling her. I, I you know I didn't I didn't have any good intentions, you know what I'm saying? I was just trying to smash. I figured like I could smash I could smash somebody that's willing. Like why why take that Yeah, because it's gonna be like you remember the first guy you saw with? Like it did mean something for the rest of your life? I don't know about the rest of my life, but yeah, I no, remember. Yeah, I didn't want to have bad intentions to be on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then like for the rest of her life, I well, stole something. I was just Nothing. like, this is sex. Like it didn't feel like this is supposed to. Yeah, that's usually the story, but it also, but either that, it's either that story or they was like super in love with that dude. And I, even, you know what I'm saying? Like I really didn't want to. What's crazy is the second dude I slept with probably should have been the first dude I slept with because I was gone. Like, like I really, really, really liked the second dude I slept with. But the first dude, it was just like, I liked him, but I shouldn't have lost my identity. How old were you again? 19. My 19th birthday. Oh, I think you're going to answer that. You ready tonight? Get that drink. Oh, oh okay. okay. <laughs> she ready. She ready. But yeah. I'm for y'all shenanigans today. This is all funny shenanigans. All right. Change the name to Shenanigans. How you gonna bring a chaser? You're the worst. It was listen. It was already in my car. Um, how's that? How's that? You know what? Did you want me to stop and be even later? Yeah, I heard she said she was late, y'all. Right, she was late for the I podcast. Was, she came to the oh, podcast late. Recorded. Yeah. <laughs> that's, oh, that's why you were so. Oh, that's what it was. Oh, that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> you said what? I knew she wasn't supposed to answer that question. Yeah. Wait, what happened? That's why you answered that question. Uh, huh? Oh, because I'm yeah. here. Now you don't care. I knew Y'all might get it. a lot of information out of me today. Oh, okay. let's go. This going to be like when we had an intervention for Quaco, I think this might be the opposite. Yeah. What's going on with you? How are you doing? Let me, let me into your circle. Do you really want to get into my circle? Yes, I do. What's up, this new sibling that you have? Oh, my God. My father's son. You should have brought Don Diva. She is over there. Why you bring your brother to the podcast? First of all, share first family. of all, we're not gonna do this, Justin. I don't like the brother thing. What's uh, what's your beef with him? I don't have a beef. Well, I do have a beef, but not really. Yeah. Am I really gonna talk about this? Your on the father. Story? Yeah, but I'm. I, I, I got you. Can you give me an intro or something? I got so you. So I don't um, sound like an angry black woman. Yeah, yeah. Um, so your you father. Say you're angry and you are. I mean, but then I don't know if they know you're black because they can't see. We sound. Epic. Oh, they know. <laughs> we sound ethnic. So no, her, her father who um, passed away early in her life. Uh, oh, he's not alive. No. Yes. Oh, see, I'm learning some. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so my father died when I was four. Okay. My father got killed on a motorcycle accident. In a motorcycle okay. accident, my, I was four. My sister was one. My father was in the Air Force, so he was stationed in California. He got married to my mother when they were 21. They had been together since they were 15. So, apparently, while my father was there, it was a period of time where him and my mother were not together for like nine months. They didn't talk or anything. I, well, I don't know, because the, the time, I don't know about the time frame. So, I don't know if this occurred during that time. Mm-hmm. But, so... I want, mo- a, I want to crack a nine month joke, but it's not here. We can't. It sounds like it, but I don't know. It sounds like it would be perfect, but I don't know. So my mother was. Can you? Can you? I'm not interrupt me. So my mother was like, "Yeah, he said he was living with a woman or whatever." Blah 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 blah. blah whatever. I'm like, okay. So after my father died, some lady called my mother and was like, "He got a kid." So my mom was like, "Well, he did." So. Mm-hmm. What you know, whatever. So that was that. So fast forward to three weeks ago, mm-hmm. um, maybe four weeks. My cousin on my mother's side called me and was like, basically, I have a brother. Somebody reached out through the ancestry.com. My sister, I mean, my cousin is heavily into that or whatever. So he ended up doing a DNA test because. He had thought for X amount of years that another man was his father. His mother never told him. So then when she finally told him that that wasn't his father, she wouldn't tell him who his father was. So fast forward to four or five years ago, he finally asked again. She gave him a name, but that was it. He tried to do some research, 
couldn't find anything because she ain't gonna be on the internet because he's been gone for well her. yeah but he didn't know where to look because oh. she wouldn't give him anything else she just gave him a name and he was just like well I don't even know if this is if she's telling me the truth or whatever because I guess they have like a volatile relationship or whatever so whatever so because so then he did the DNA test through the ancestry thing so my cousin on my mother's side is heavily into that and family tree, all of that stuff or whatever. Apparently she listed my father's, well put a, a picture of my father's tomb, well headstone on the little family tree thing. I have it at work. I don't know because I ain't never been on it. Is that it. normal? She does too much. Okay. Because that's the whole. She's she she do she did entirely too much because she just sent this man pictures and everything of me and my sister and my son. Why your, wait, why your father and not hers? Why she, why she putting your father's stuff? I guess she probably... The whole family tree on there. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, like I said, I don't know how that works. So, whatever. So, um, he does the DNA test now. My grandfather on my father's side and my uncle did the ancestry DNA test. So, when he did it, of course, it connects him to this side. You know, matches the DNA and all that stuff or whatever. So I guess he might have sent a message to my uncle, but he never replied because if you're not on there, you're not going to. Right. So he did a search for my father's name and then he got plugged with my cousin on my mother's side. Make a long story short. Too late. I know. Well, this part of the side, <laughs> shut up. She like, okay, whatever. This is your brother. So she hit me up and was like, you know, blah, blah, blah. Send me a picture whatever. So then she's like, can I give him your number? I don't care. So she gave him my number. He called me like right then and there, you know, mm. all of this stuff or whatever. Okay, cool. So I'm like, well, you know, I'm sending him pictures because he's never seen my father, grandfather, nobody, you know, no ties, whatever. Cool. So then he talked to my sister. And then like three days later, he was like, um, we coming on, me and my wife are coming on what's today's date the 18th the 17th through the 20th or some shit like that mm. like he didn't talk he didn't you know talk to us or you know so I'm like okay so I feel some type of way about this cause it's like you just for 40 years I've been living my life with a sister mm-hmm. you know what I mean and then this guy just come in and you know it's like it's cool I understand you excited you finally you know solved your little yeah I mean cause that's gotta be tough for him. Though. I get that. Get asked, got answers. You right. Mean, you, you I get decide. that. Yeah. But my issue, I don't even want to say my issue, but I just don't like, I feel like it's like you're imposing yourself on me now. It's just like, hold on, let me, let the sink in. Oh, yeah. Let me, you know what I mean? Yeah, I can see that. So now I'm just kind of like, just like, mm-hmm. you feel the way. Yeah. Okay. And then everybody's coming down on me. They was like, well, he's just excited, but it's like nobody's looking at the other side. He's had five years to process that he has somebody else who's yeah, yeah. his I mean, father. That's, and that's what I was just about to say. Is like, yeah, that's a lot of him, but also, I mean, that's a lot for you because you got a sibling now. Yeah. And it's like the question is like, do you want to get? You don't know this person. I don't know this do you person. Want to engage this person. How much do you want to engage this person? How sick it is to engage this person? What is what is his intention? Exactly. Is this even really real? Mm-hmm. Are you an asshole for asking? This? You know, I mean, it's, it's all of these things. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot on both sides. So I mean, I. I don't think it's anything. I mean, I, I, I think people are too. I think sometimes people are too insistent on quote unquote doing the right thing. And yeah. Like Welcome with open arms, and, and, but it's like. And I'm like, no, it's let's cool, see, but let's, let's, let's the, like give me give me a couple minutes to really kind of process. Exactly. What, what it, I get you. I feel so, you. So you know, so everybody's like, and I'm just like explaining to my family. It's like I don't care what y'all say. This is how I feel. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that he should not come, but. He could at least give us the consideration, you know, like confer with us. You know, is this a, and it's the middle of the week? Not even. That, I mean, well, in the in the week. That's weird because y'all really don't know him. We don't know y'all him. Y'all don't anything in common. Y'all really haven't had conversation. You know, yeah. I think, it's, I think it's. I mean, I understand he's excited, but I think it should be a little bit more build up than. And that's and that's thing. how I feel about yeah, it. My that. sister, on the other hand, oh, I'm excited. You know, I always wanted a brother and blah blah blah. But my sister has never met a stranger, so that's cool. But I'm not like that. Most of you are very suspicious of people. So, I mean, I think, I just think that y'all personalities, it, it it's, makes yeah. sense. Yeah, it does. Cause like, I, don't, I don't think, I mean, again, like a situation like this, I don't think there's a, a right and a wrong or, Ooh. I think it's just. I saw you do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, 
I was like, okay, I'm a, you know, and then it's just so much with this whole story. It's just, it's too much. You know what I mean? It's like, I feel like I'm being forced to process it faster than I, I have to because it's like, you were here one week and then two weeks later you're here. But you know what? I think there's a safe space where you can break this down and really speak on this. Tell me about it. UTPL. <laughs> It's me, it's me, it's Justin with an E. We're in the building with the slightly agitated but still beautiful out of London. Might have to hey. shake a bitch or something out here oh, in the no. streets. We see. She might need an alibi. She might do an extra long podcast. Alibi. <laughs> she might need an alibi. If you were here on voice for a few hours, believe me, she's still here. I'm here, I'm here. And I'm quiet. And I can't crack no jokes. I want to right now. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Come with, I'll see you tonight. Maybe lime juice. Yeah, you know what I mean. Roses lime. So it's not the. Just throw some lime juice and the pineapple. Maybe I could, cause this is too sweet. Cause it's flavored. Do you have any? I don't know. Yeah, just taste it. Just taste it. We drinking um some local vodka, made in the Chicago area. It's gluten free. Why they keep trying to sell us gluten free alcohol? Is that possible? Tito's is gluten free. What, what, the hell, what the hell is gluten? Listen. This was made out of grapes or something? I don't know. I don't even know what this is made, made out, out of. of. It gotta be. Orange like, peels and bread. I, I don't know. Cook County Maybe style. Bread if it could gluten free. Oh, you're right. I don't know, but it's made in Crestwood. Well, I don't know. Crestwood? Okay. I'm sure people are really about this. 80 plus. Right. <laughs> so, how was meeting your brother for the first time? Like I'm sorry, meeting your sibling for the first time. I'm not trying to be insensitive. Like meeting a stranger for the first time. Mm-hmm. Like I would do anybody else. Church hood. Hey, what's up? How you look? I'm gonna say something. I can't say this something. I mean, yeah, yeah, come on. We I mean, he looks like my he looks like my oldest uncle on my father's side. Okay. Uh, strong. And so uh, that didn't bring you closer. No. Hmm. Was he happy to see you? Yeah. How's wife look? She okay. She's a um, she's from El El Salvador. Oh. Mm-hmm. Now, I actually liked his wife's vibe because she was cool, chill, not forcing, you know what I mean? Lack of a better word, she don't trust y'all bitches. Yeah. Just like I don't trust them. (laughs) (laughs) No, but she was over, but she was happy, like she was crying. (laughs) That's not what she signed up for. Like she was crying, (laughs) like, you know, she was happy for him that, you know. Yeah, because I mean, I have to imagine that's. A load off his. Well, yeah, because his. realistically, how many people don't know who their father is, and then once they found, like, they can never yeah. connect with that other yeah. side of the family. Yeah, it's so it's like it's I'm not trying, time. like, I'm not being a bitch about it. It's like I totally get it. Well, I feel for her. I don't know. I'm over here feeling for her. Who the mom? I mean, a girl. She didn't sign up for this. Yeah, she didn't sign up. What she? Yeah. What she got with the man? She knew in laws and shit and all that. Now with her. Now you got a whole family. He might be like a real attached person. Now all of a sudden she got to share him. He gonna be calling yeah. over there. Yeah, Jehovah telling your bit, telling her oh, business. Right. That's interesting. You know what I'm saying? I got friends that show with. Really? Yeah. So he church going. He buying tickets on his own immediately when he want to fly somewhere. Yeah. So he seems like he. Um, he's married. He's a he's a emergency room nurse. Fucker. Um, <laughs> I ain't mad at it. Um, a ER nurse. Though. I think that's like the highest nurses can go without actually being a doctor. I think. Not practitioners. Nurse practitioner. I don't care. I don't know why. They, they I, was, I, was, I was trying to see if you know You know, he know all about the <laughs> nurses. <laughs> it just dawned on me. Here we go. Yeah, it just got me like, you know what? Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> so that's really what I was going for. I was going to get about this bad job. I come on, pull up. Pull up. But, um, Drink. but I will say that my one uncle who said he wasn't coming and who wasn't effing with him came. Because mm-hmm. allegedly he didn't want to mess up my father's legacy, whatever that means. So, I mean, he was, the like, family embraced him, you know. So, that's good. I never knew your father passed away that. Mm-hmm. Why? Did you still need to talk about that? Yeah. What? My father died? That got something to do with my, that got something to do with, no, 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 I ain't saying that. I just, what do you know about your, your dad? Um. What's it like, I mean, not you, so you, I think you, I think you're in a place where you're not finna, like, cry on me. Yeah. Uh, no. but. But what well, is it like I, to have, not have that situation where your father passes away and you? Well, I do have instances or moments where I'm like, I wonder how my life would be if he was still here. You mm. know what I mean? Like differently. I definitely don't think. I'm just step back real quick. Uh-huh. Do you 
remember anything about him. I have a few memories. Like, because, well, duh, he was on my motorcycles. Like, stuff like that. Or I remember going to, like, his friend's house with him. Okay. And they had, like, this big fish tank. I can remember, like, Cool in the Gang. Like, I don't know why I remember this, but, like, a Cool in the Gang song. Mm. Like... I mean, because no, because it's something like Kane. It's not like Kane when he was kicking yeah, his yeah. body. I remember him combing <laughs> my hair. He was playing, he was playing cards with somebody. Like, <laughs> he was like, go get my pen and okay. But, um, like, I remember him combing my hair. You know what I mean? Like, little stuff, but I don't have a lot of memories. You know what I mean? Yeah, but then, I mean, of course. I four. Like, I, yeah. I think that's when you first start really developing permanent memories at, yeah. at four, and that's kind of. Yeah, so, I mean, I do, and then I do like to hear people talk about him because yeah. they always like, oh, he was cool, he was my guy, you know what I mean? Like, I, or, like, just talking about how he defended his family, um, you know, like, he was a good dude, like, how, oh, he was my favorite uncle, you know, stuff like that. How long do, um, how long do friends stay around? See, I don't know, because, like, every time, see, I, I really don't know, because on my father's side of the family, like, my sister and I, we still, you know, we visit my grandfather. Well, your mother got married, so she got, she kind of. Right, she got married. My mother got remarried when I was eight. But we Mm -hmm. still connected, like, to that side of the family. Like, we would still go over there every weekend. You know what I mean? So it was like, we didn't really miss a beat. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Until we got older, when we started doing our own thing or whatever. But even now, like, we try to at least go over there, like, once a week or whatever. So it was kind of like, we still know everybody. You know what I mean? And then it's like, I look like him, so every time I see somebody, they're like, oh my God, you look just like your daddy, or you know, stuff like that, or whatever, but yeah. Hmm. I don't remember the question you asked me before you asked me if I remember. That was pretty much it. Yes. Um, I mean, I guess we, I think he was on the same page as me, like, we wouldn't know what that's like to, yeah. at that age, and you know what I'm saying? What, and what, then it's like, sometimes I, like, dude, this hasn't been recent, but I've had those moments where I kind of, just sat there with the idea of like if my father was still alive mm-hmm. or probably a little too long and then I would have like very vivid dreams like it would be like real life like him walking into my grandmother's house and hugging me and you know stuff like that or whatever but you know it's funny I had them kind of thoughts about my father at this age like my father been gone since like 2000 he, not he, gone he's alive no, right, let, me, let me get that right because I'm, I'm, I'm steady killing people yeah, <laughs> I killed my cousin uh, early in a different country. A different country. Different <laughs> he moved country. out of the country, but I, it, it was in my adult life that he left. So it was like I be thinking like, nigga, I need this is when I think I needed you. Yeah. <laughs> I need some grown. I need some. I need a, my pops to be my buddy now. Yeah, like you know what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, I need that situation. Right, right, right. And even though like when my mother got married, I was eight. So. I'm, you know, my stepfather, like no shade to him or whatever, but I just feel like. He is a father figure, but it's like the relationship is not like a father-daughter relationship. I mean, it's hard to follow chase of goals, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, but what I'm saying is, so it's like, I feel like there is probably a part of me that kind of wants to know, like, what does that feel like? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And like I said, there's no shade to him, you know, because he took a woman, he married a woman with two kids, like, you know what I mean? Right. He got rid of his Fierro. He <laughs> got a, uh, a got a, a yeah. and got a uh, what's the band's called? An Astro oh, band. Oh, you must, man, your mama's got that weird song. <laughs> <laughs> like, look, I'm about to go pick a one of y'all. I come back for those. Yeah, one. you know what I mean. So, but uh, that's Fierro though. Fierro. I don't think I would did it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like they, got the car cover, on the, on the, they look good on the car cover, but they had right. the little lights to bump. I remember, but it's like Ferrero, Ferrari. Yeah. It was like, come on. It was, it was, you tried it. Right, you yeah, tried it. Yeah, I want to did it. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's interesting stuff, I guess. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of stuff nowadays that made me think about my parenting skills. So, uh, it's like all these television shows. I don't know if that's just old nigga shit. Uh, I think about like I watch Power and I'd be like I don't want to be like Ghost. Oh. <laughs> or I'm like all these television shows. That's what I'm seeing. Ozark. I'm looking at Ozark like. No, Ozark may make. You, I don't want to. Definitely keep you on the straight <laughs> Cause, arrow. Because I'm hating all these kids on these. I'm spitting shit. Uh, I'm hating all these kids on these fucking shows. Yeah. All these kids losing their goddamn minds. <laughs> I, mean, I like they, the little boy Jonah on uh, Ozark. Oh, that's why you ain't with that far Ozark. I ain't gonna right. that for I you. think I well I think I'm on episode seven. I fell asleep last night. You saw her emancipate. Huh? No, okay. Sorry. They got the van. 
Nah. Don't tell me. I'm not, I'm not repeating myself. Because <laughs> <laughs> now I've been watching, like, who is going to, who is going to get poisoned? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's interesting for you. It's good. That's a good um, okay. Scooby Doo for you, then. Mystery. But no, um, yeah, it, it, all those different things. So you think about, like, the memory that you like, you have good memories, the memories that you could have. Somebody could be in a different situation and have fucked up memories. That's true, and I do. What do you call? What do you call those things? Like they have the um, the film. Uh, like back in the day, they would. I don't even know what it was called, but they would have film. But it was like the moving projector. Mm. Like it wasn't any sound, but you can see everything was going on. But you, there's no sound. What about the slideshow? We can call it the slideshow, but it's not like some old This Is Us type shit. I I don't know. I never watched this. Slideshow. You talking about like the little the projector like they had in school? Like, here I'm gonna show you. Like, I don't know what it's called, like but the old I guess shit, the old like shit, like yeah, I'm just like that. Oh, so there's some like of those videos, like with yeah. him and oh, me and stuff. Yeah, so it's yeah. like I've seen those, you know, what I mean? or I even see him like when he was younger. I got a filter for that. Uncle, mm. like they dancing around, you know what I mean? It's, yeah, it's no it's sound kind of, to yeah, it, but it's I, kind of just random stuff. Yeah. yeah, so that helps too. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't want to talk about this anymore because now y'all gonna be like she got daddy issues. I already thought that, but you did not. Did you think that for real? Yes, absolutely. Did you think I got daddy issues? You think I got daddy issues? Why do you think I got daddy issues? Because you. I think the thing is, I think people associate daddy issues with like. I said no, by the way. Negative stuff. Negative. Lose being a hoe, but I, I'm not. Don't I make your shit just positive? No, no, no. I'm just no, but no, <laughs> but no. Well, I'm I saying when I, I think, think that I think negative daddy, stuff. They think negative, like oh, right. she's a hoe. She looking at she search for and men. I think with you is like because you're the oldest, right? Mm-hmm. You kind of became ultra independent. Mm-hmm. And kind of. Like for to a certain extent, you were the man of the man of the house in your mind. I can see what, and, it. and you know what I'm saying. It's like just, just and I think that what, like I said, because I think, and then if I'm wrong, tell me, you almost get along better with men than you do with women. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of there's a lot of female stuff that's just lost on you, and I think it's because you. I think maybe because. Your your idea of gender roles might be slightly skewed. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I say that. Rap version of the T D Jakes prophesizing on your yeah, CDs and tapes. I see that. <laughs> I see that. I think you got right there. <laughs> but no, like I say, it's not yeah, anything I negative. I, I think you're a very well rounded individual and you somehow without a without a daddy or a baby daddy raised a decent young man. I kinda like your son. He's cool. Uh-oh. I was thinking about looking Obama with my daughter. I don't know. Um, he don't want no girlfriend, ain't he? Oh, no, forget that. He didn't get married. Oh, they are the same age, huh? Yeah. Hmm. No, he don't. He he just trying to date and just kick it. Yes. No strings attached. Tell me nice. They'll get together, and then I'll be like, I feel like he I have to He said he's not on that sex thing, but I don't <laughs> believe him. But that's what he said. Oh, he definitely getting laid. That's what he, he said. He's wearing suits. He picked a good line. Too. And he's running for the class president See, right now. He went for this. The, he hey, he went for, he, he gonna get him like, an Angela Rye. Bro, and that's the thing. Like he like, I'm not about to mess around with it with the little thighs. Yeah. I'm gonna, he's like, I'm gonna educate you. See, and that's the one thing I tell everybody in college. Like, man, you can always get a thigh anywhere. Go get them smart chicks mm-hmm. in college. I missed my first train that way. Your first who? My first train. That sounds like a. The pun is all intended. I missed the train. Really? Uh, yeah. Wait, hold on, because I'm over here thinking like the train. Yeah, you said it, no, you said but you, both. You, you make. Yeah. <laughs> I missed the train, and I missed the train <laughs> <laughs> because I felt like I was more. I felt like I was too good for that. Like I had better goals in life. Yeah, I had better standards than that. And the hood so clown me. That's why you was thirty doing the train. Damn, that's tough. Right? Definitely on the trains at that. Twenty six. I might do the bus down. What about I, I was? I ain't do no train. I'm no. trying to think. Cause I'm train. I love trains. Me. I, I have to do math before yeah. I say shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Gotta explain your math was wrong, nigga. You got to have five thousand on the ACC. Right. <laughs> your math wasn't wrong. <laughs> but no, um, I'm trying to think. Like mid to late twenties, ain't. But like, yeah, if you if you in thirty and then you still doing that, then it's like. You don't do much. Yeah, that's that's gay. <laughs> yeah, um, you you want to be with a man if you're doing trains at that age. Yeah. But no, um, when I said that, no, I just didn't want to. Um, what was offered to me, I didn't want to do. Now here's the messed up peer pressure. The older guys in the neighborhood clown me 
because they do this thing when you're young. These things. Keep talking. It's played out now. Uh, it was this thing called Scared of Pussy. Huh? When, you're young. <laughs> when, you, when you're a young man, and there's this thing called Scared of Pussy. And, uh, yeah. You get you get accused of it. It's bad. It's like AIDS. It's worse. It's like herpes. It's yeah, for real. It's, <laughs> it's like being yeah, accused of herpes. Scared of pussy. Like, and the worst part is like when the ugly chick say it. Yeah. Like he's scared. Nah, when the older niggas in the neighborhood. Yeah, that's when the big bad. brothers. And then it was that no, the worst yeah. it'd be the big brother ain't got no taste. Yeah, they the trash. Chick that you know you ain't trying to like the chick is trash. <laughs> they ain't shit oh, now. <laughs> like, nah, man, it's trash, hey. bro. I'm, my, I have I have options still. I'm yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. You old, bro. You gotta do that. Right. So um, they, they, I got pre- so I passed up on that. I got called scared and all that clown pointing at throwing rocks at me and uh, joking. I know. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> and so then I pressured myself. I had to get that scared off me, so I had to prove that I wasn't scared. And then I went down some lanes I shouldn't have gone down after that. Trains, mm-hmm. nah, busters. Uh, I think every man should have that. I just said a name. Really. Um, no, just the particular women that I decided. Y'all uh, don't girls. just do that anyway, though. What? what? That's like not a natural progression of becoming a boy. I mean, boys to a, a boy to a man. So you saying your son gonna run trains? The train? No, I mean, well, not necessarily trains. He like, can't run the train. Yeah, he gonna be our next president. How you gonna right. run the train? No, he's not gonna do that. Hopefully, Lord. Let me see. If you had this told. Has have y'all seen White Boy Rick the movie? Is that? It just, yeah, I think it came out this weekend. I was Friday. Oh, no, that's it. Go check it out, though. So, he was home this weekend because of the hurricane. Well, this week because of the past yeah. week because of the hurricane, whatever. So, it was a scene in there, basically, when somebody got somebody pregnant. And I just turned to him and looked at him like, don't ever have sex without a condom. And he looking at me like, like, every moment is a teaching moment. So, now I need to tell him, don't be having trains. Does I need to? Mm-hmm. Don't do a train. You shouldn't be saying train to him. Yeah, that's <laughs> oh, my mama don't talking about trains to me. Yeah, that's, that's weird. Bad like, enough, he might have to hear this shit. Like, if you got a burden to do this one thing, you start talking about, I will look. You hit it from the back. No, I'm just going to be like, no, don't do no trains. Why would, we, why would you say that? He should. I should encourage you. You should never hear that. <laughs> talk to him about trains. If it happens, it's just. Of his you don't even in his mind. You don't even know what a train is in his mind. Yeah, mom yeah. don't even know. You're not even aware of trains. Yeah, he did tell me to close my eyes doing the sex thing. Uh, yeah, you shouldn't. Yeah, that's that's wild shit. Um, that's going too so far. That's the going too so far. Even if we had that type of relationship. But he don't, don't want to talk about. Well, he don't want to talk about me. Well, he don't want to talk about sex with me. So exactly because the thing is, I'm sure you don't want to know about your sex life. So. I'm not gonna talk to him about. Like I'm not gonna be. So why are you gonna talk to him about his? Because he needs to know. Like both adults. He, yeah, he probably would be more open to it if you was like you and his dad was together and y'all was all in the same house, huxable shit. Yeah. And it might be a little more, but. Bro, he, he probably imagined that you I'm still not dating. Single mama came talking to you about trains. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm I, don't, I don't see what's so bad about it. I wouldn't do it. No. That's all I'm saying is. I'm going to survive. That nigga gonna spit. He got to spit. He's like, <laughs> exactly. He's like, got a bad taste in his mouth. For real, for real. Like, like, that's not like, cool. No. I guess. Mm-mm. Mm. My mother told me not to let, uh, deal with a woman that uh, put her mouth on your nasty parts. Mm. Oh, she does all that. I found a poem a chick wrote about giving me a blowjob. Oh. Mm. Well, this was Maybe. high school or something no, or college? This is college. They dude. confront you? Huh? She confronted you? No, I didn't know. Like, it just all of a sudden, she just hated this chick. Uh, and so, like, she came back for Thanksgiving. That was my girlfriend at the time. She came back for Thanksgiving. And, uh, yeah, it didn't go well. And she was like, I don't think your mama liked me. I'm like, no, nah, my mama not that tight. Like, Nah, man. So you just put it together. She never bothered me. No, my mom was going to tell me. Oh. And so I, I went up like, what's up with, uh, what you told me to, uh, so-and-so? She's like, I'm just going to let that nasty girl in my house <laughs> drinking all my cups. That's what you see this shit? Uh, Look, I said, this shit, we have nasty cups. I can't be using no cups after that. Oh. I'm like, what the hell? My pop's like, why in the hell did you bring home some poems about some girl sucking on your dick, boy? <laughs> like, I'm like, Oh, because they just disagreed. Like, I, because the thing is, because she, she sent them to me because she stayed. Like, in the mail? She mailed it to you? 
she like stood them in my bag or something before I go oh. home. And I like she had a romantic thing, whatever. So I found them, I'm like, this chick crazy. And so I put it down on my dresser. Because at the time I was living in the basement. Nobody ever came down there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nosy come down there to clean up, even though it was still dirty when I got back. But, you know. Okay, I'll kind of Huh? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, see, he's trying to creep. You find stuff you don't want to find. I wasn't even trying to creep, though. I was trying to creep. Mm-mm. Yeah, you were. I'm going to get Oh, my grandmother found some, uh, a rap about me. Some uh, a nasty rap. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that was me. I was rapping. You know, you're back in town, right? You gotta have your dick suck scene in your rap. Yeah, so, so I had a little yeah, nasty I, rap. I, I yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had, I had my song. I had my little nasty rap and shit. They wouldn't rap to it. They didn't read a rap. They just saw I was right. And they assumed, for some reason, they assumed I was messing. I don't know what I said in this rap, but something made them think I was messing with my girlfriend's mother. Oh. Hey. I don't know what it was. Well? No, I wasn't. Uh, <laughs> I'm a whale. But no, nah, um, yeah, you, got, you can't, yeah, you, you got to stay out the little man thing a little bit. I mean, at this point in time, he's free to make some choices. He got some choices he to make. Is. I, I don't, don't want him to yeah, just, I don't know. It's I, gonna do I just some, don't want him to be careless. And that's the reason why I say he should, he's not going to be doing trains, I was just a hope. It, I mean, college time, that's the time to be doing it. It's just that so much flat come from this shit. Like, Judge Kavanaugh. Mmm. Mm. Stole your shit. There you go. Stole your shit. Hey, okay, <laughs> I, I saw I saw a building about <laughs> two minutes ago. <laughs> I see the window. I see the clock. Yeah. Kavanaugh, Kavanaugh. Yeah. That's because you be in college and you putting hands over mouths and yeah, that's tough. Yeah, you, like, and that's the thing. Like when I'm you first, juicing. When I first juiced, wow. <laughs> nah. Like no, I have not heard you know that. You juicing? Come on. Yeah, now. but I ain't heard that word in forever. I don't even know what it means. No. Juicing, I punching. 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 Punching the south side. I know somebody. Wait, I know somebody that's still hunching. Hunching is down south. Hunching and juicing is the same thing. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. But, um, so anyway, Judge Kavanaugh. So. Give me some background because so I already know. know Judge Kavanaugh is the guy that Trump wants to be on the Supreme Court. So he's doing the Senate confirmation. And so an old accuser came up from when he was in high school. She alleges that the judge at the time was inebriated. She had on a bathing suit and then like some short stuff over that. Because mm-hmm. they at the house party swim or whatever. So she comes in, she's about to go. He snatches her into her room. His guy's watching or something. And so she try he trying to he trying to get it in. He on top of her, he grow up and whatever, whatever. Now see, and the thing is, is like, as bad as it is to say, that shit not right. And up to this point right here, it's kind of like, it seems like he shot a bad shot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So apparently, now kind of what makes a distinction for me where it kind of gets weird is that, so she goes to scream for help. Mm-hmm. And he covers her mouth. Oh. Yeah. Oh. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like, yeah. Cause again, I, I mean, my thing is like, when you get to the point where you're screaming for, I mean, because again, like, I, I waited for a strong no, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, 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 no, stop, no, stop, that, that, that kind of don't mean shit. Yeah, pull it, up Especially on. that, like, you gotta, like, give me a strong, yeah. firm grab my wrist, like, and get that look, eye yeah. contact, like, yeah. no, you know what I'm saying? Cool. But apparently she gave a couple of those, and she went to scream for help, and he covered her mouth, and I'm like... That changed the whole thing. Yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of a problem. So that, that, well, how long ago did this happen? 35 years ago. <laughs> it definitely wasn't. That's definitely a, a part of the story. Like, yeah, yeah, y'all really gonna pop up with. Uh, that happened when I was five. Right. Nineteen eighty. <laughs> when I was, uh, I was uh, listening to Oak Towns three five seven, Bro, trying to get you know it in. Saying, like, you really gonna bring that up? <laughs> so that so, I'm gonna take it a different way. Does that mean that he can't be on the Supreme Court? Wait, 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 before we even go there, wait, 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 wait. I want to stay on the scene of that mm-hmm. situation, though. Okay. You are hunching, juicing, whatever you want to do. Wait, hunching is when you have on clothes, right? Yeah, they had on clothes. They weren't naked, I don't believe. Right. He's trying to get there. So he's trying to get He's trying to get something the old-fashioned way. She screams way. no. And then she, and she screams help. What do you do oh, in this help. scenario? As a man? Yeah. You supposed to stop. I feel like if she You're not but you're not a raper. You don't think you're raping. When she screams, and she like screams, hell! But she's yeah. But I mean, that's weird. Stop, that's, 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 I mean, that's you put your hands over her mouth. Maybe he was getting. I'm not putting my. I'm not, I ain't never put my hands over nobody's mouth before. I never put my hands over no. nobody's mouth. But 
If she starts jealous of incoherent bullshit, yeah, like, and you be like, bitch, what the fuck? Hold on. <laughs> Right, because maybe he That's freaked funny. out or something. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm trying to look at it on the other yeah, side I mean, where I mean, he could I probably feel, be. I feel, you, I feel you, like maybe he freaked out and then. I, mean, I guess my question is like. How far do you get to where she feels the need to yell for yeah, him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You really. He has like, to. You gotta. Got read, you gotta come. Him. Yeah, I mean, you kind of gotta read the room. Bro. I'm picturing. I'm, I'm picturing like. Um, so what he put? He moved. He the, probably looked like uh, the, the bad guy on Karate Kid. And he was <laughs> came in here, Billy, that's his name. <laughs> I'm picturing him with that kind of attitude. Yeah, like, <laughs> I feel that energy. I feel that energy. Yeah, he like, came in on some, on some, on the shit. Uh, there's no mercy in this yeah. little Joe type shit. Yeah, he had, a, he had a Mustang, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and he pulled up on those bus. bandanas, that real bandanas. <laughs> with that hair hanging over the top. Exactly. Yeah, that's what he was on. He was the bad guy. On I the mean, movies. that's like that's that's. And again, this is all alleged. Cause this is. Her so has he spoken mind. out? He said he didn't do it. He said it didn't happen. It didn't happen. He said that bitch don't even know me. Yeah, that's the thing. He was right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why am I the foul nigga today? Now, nah, like, uh, what don't help his case is that one of his boys wrote a book and was in his book he was saying how wild shit was back in there. Did he oh, speak really? to this incident? Is that the friend that was supposed to be there too? I don't know. Oh, it was a, a witness? His was friend. friend that was there. And again, that, that, because again, it was him and his friend that was in the room. They, they never really spoke on what his friend was doing. And this, I kind of feel like his friend was like standing in the corner, like the Blair Witch and shit. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? But anyway, they clear about what he did. They never said what the friend was doing. So, what was in the book? Did anything in the bo- book well, no, kind of speak? Book, the book was from a different, some, 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 some higher up, who, some person who's. In some high position, who went to the same school. I'm just so saying. But it didn't speak and anything. It didn't speak any specific. It just said we was wild boys. It said like we was wild back in the day. It was a lot of drugs yeah. and well, sex and whatever, whatever. Okay. So you know, I mean, pretty much nothing. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. So, yeah, you boy. If my phone had rang, I'd be cussing you out right now. That's my goddamn my uncle. Mm-hmm. Speak a phone. She got a lady. Uh, <laughs> can you believe that? Can you believe yeah, that, brother? That ain't my goddamn son, brother. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this little motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, I, I don't know. It, to bring us to have some shit from that long ago come up, I do think you can't. So to answer your question, I personally don't believe that that can be the reason why you keep somebody off mm-hmm. over some he say because their thing is kind of legitimate. Like, how does she remember all of a sudden? I mean, I, I can't. I can't imagine something you probably don't. Forget. You don't forget. But, I mean, again, what did Anita Hill do? Huh? They said it's just like Anita Hill, but I was too young. No, no, no. Anita Hill, no, this dude, Terrence, Cl- Terrence Clarence Thomas, on some shit. Like, this dude, like, left pubic hairs on her Diet Coke. What? Yeah. <laughs> well, what you mean? <laughs> no, I mean, I don't know how to explain. Well, she was his, a law, a clerk in his law firm. She was like, somehow, like, some, whatever position is under him, like a, a junior attorney or something like that at his law firm. She worked for him. And so he was on some full court press on some I'm trying to try to slap them cheeks. Well let's 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 be clear. Let me be clear for the listeners. If uh, there's a young lady and I leave my pubic hair <laughs> on her diet coke, that's a threat. <laughs> That's not a sexual event. That's not sexual. <laughs> what I'm telling you is I'm a deranged individual. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A desperate fool, you're out here. A man on the edge. <laughs> Like that's not okay. You know what I'm saying? Like I think I'm trying to tell you is just right. leave, get out. Like, right. You might as well flash a camera in my right. face. Picture me plucking it. I didn't cut it. Bro. I, pull- <laughs> you know like, I plucked it. <laughs> that's that's that's, 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 that's a. Man. I mean that's a lot, but pretty much he had a. Now if a did he admit to that? He never admitted. Oh. <laughs> about to say pretty shit. Pretty much just the way it came out. Everybody pretty much knew that it was true. Cause. I mean, this is no actual people kind of, I mean, I don't know. Again, I don't know, again, because it was before my time. I do remember a little bit. I, do, I don't know why I remember the pubic in the coat. Pubic's in the coat. Yeah, if I would have heard that, I will definitely would say that in my memory. Yeah, that's, <laughs> not, yeah, that's not a random access memory. That's going to yeah, be a hard drive. <laughs> that's a story. <laughs> yeah, so, um, 
Yeah, that's one of his permanent five. But yeah, his stuff was more. Lit. They were both adults working mm-hmm. adults at the time. These are high school people. Oh, high school, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, and again, like, not to forgive what he is, what he, what happened in the situation, whatever, whatever. And again, like, I don't want to jump and act like this is just the worst thing in the world because I don't agree with Kavanaugh's politics. You know what I'm saying? Which was the Democrats. Yeah, it feels sleazy though. It feels like. And I, I do have this thing just to get the politics out before she come back because I know she ain't with that smoke. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like for Democrats, I do want them to play as dirty as the Republicans. I want them to meet, match the energy. Mm-hmm. But when this coming around, it feels dirty. Like man, like okay, that's how we gonna keep them off because. You gotta be careful what you wish for because the same thing when you get some shit. Yeah. Oh, that's what we doing now. Make you, make you cry. Yeah, that's, that's what we doing now. Like, okay. It's a precedent. Like, I mean, oh, I mean, now you can't ever say it's wrong. Yeah. This is what we do. Mm-hmm. We bring up old shit, mm-hmm. rumors from goddamn um, sixth grade. You know what I'm saying? So like, I mean, and then the Democrats the fence. Like when that stuff came up about uh, the one Democrat in Minnesota, the comedian, I forget his name. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Like, dude didn't even do it. Like, dude was kind of just, he, he grabbed a girl. I think he kissed a girl. Uh, a skit, he, he, he wrote a skit that she had to kiss him, which yeah, is. Yeah, something like that, you know? So he took uh, a picture. Then he took a picture. Like, he was feeling on her. Yeah, and, and, he and one down. more thing. Yeah, he stepped down, I think, um, prematurely. I think prematurely, but. I mean. He didn't want to bring any. Uh, he wanted to let the bullshit die down. And he's he's been there for a while, too, I guess. Yeah. Frankie, Frankie, Frankie. Al Franken. Al Franken. I mean, I think my thing is, as weird it is to say, you almost need more than one accusation. More than one? Hmm. Because I feel like if this like if this something Kavanaugh did, he got drunk and he overstepped and he did something stupid as a kid. And Nobody else can corroborate and come out and say, yo, yeah, he is a creep, this is a serial abuser, he's this, he's that. Right, this, it's almost like, it's almost like, and this, this is where it gets a little misogynistic, but it's almost like this ain't his crime. His crime is his politics. Yep. yep. But we're going to use this to take him down. To so. take him down. And it's not even all that legitimate. Now, what they are going to do, I guess this week, I think Friday, they're going to have an uh, open, uh, whatever you call it, session. Her thing is, she wants the FBI to come and investigate first. Investigate well, what? A well, 30-year-old? Yeah, I mean, I guess, again, because like... It almost feels sad. If I was a Republican, I feel like if I was weird, Tea Party... It's weird that like right before anybody now so this come up, like... Doctor, work. whoever, well, then popped I mean, up. Then again, the way she handling it kind of made me think that it's... Because, again, like, I feel like if it was fabricated, she would be quick to jump in front and go ahead, let me get up in court and let me act a fool and let me go ahead and get in the news and let me make him look bad. But she like, look, don't, because the, the thing is, because they had a lawyer on some show, on something. And so her lawyer was like, they were like, we well, you know why she come out. And she was like, she told a Democratic politician. That politician kept trying to get her to come out. She didn't want to come out. Mm-hmm. So that politician kind of, Intimated to the fact that this was a thing. So people did some digging and then so they found her. And so people were coming after her. Like people were looking at her life and kind of harassing her and all this. And she was saying that like this is all the stuff she wanted to avoid. Mm-hmm. So if this happened anyway, she might as well go. She trying to kind of try to get ahead of it and kind of, okay, I'm gonna put it out there so people leave me alone. Right. You know what I'm saying? Cause so she put it out there. And that's the thing. So I mean, even where her, her thing is. I don't think she, I think she's a she's a reluctant witness. So that she is. I don't think there's no other way to describe it. Yeah. So I mean, I get her. And and I see like they are doing exactly because I I'm, I've been watching more MSNBC lately and liberal news I guess and they are dragging her through the mud. Her name is. Mm-hmm. I should remember it. Some of the R. They keep saying the name. Keep saying the name. Keep saying the name. Mm-hmm. But they are putting they on that. She ain't even stepped out yet. Yeah. When right. she steps out, it's gonna go even harder. So like, it is a bad position that they're putting her in uh, for this political game. Yeah, it's not and it's and not after good. the political, after he's done, Trump's still the president. Yeah. He's still gonna, gonna get another dude. Yeah. Politics you don't believe in. Right. And, what you gonna hope that he get a run case or something? Or yeah, you gonna dig up some bullshit. Too close to midterms, or we, you know, what I'm saying now that the midterms, we got the house, we got more. Control. Yeah, they doing a lot of shit. It's, a, it's like they are destroying the, the democracy. 
My, like democracy is not working at all at this point. You know what I don't like? I don't like people that wait to do their work. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you remember um, when that that pipeline was going through the Indian Territory. Mm-hmm. Now the thing with that is that uh, that pipeline is supposed to go through a white neighborhood. So all the white people got together one, and during the planning phase, they went to the meet. They were supposed to go to, and they said what they had to say. And they put enough pressure on these people so they moved it to the Indian land. Mm. Now they did the whole same process again where people supposed to come to these meetings, nobody came. They have, you know what I'm saying? Because again, when they do something like that, they have two of the public meetings mm-hmm. to say this was gonna happen, nobody came. Nobody did anything. Mm. Also now, so they 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 got they moving materials over the build and they about to break ground. Now everybody over there and everybody wanna protest and do all this. And I'm like, I feel like you gotta do your work early. You know what I'm saying? That you you wait until the last the 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 the, the, the twenty third hour. Now you want to be up in arms. All oh, this is so bad. This is so racist. This is so messed up. But like we don't pay attention to the details that we can see before then. And I tell people all the time, like man, like five years before we moved the the uh, war, in, war in Iraq, I never forget. I read it in the paper. It was like maybe the section D of the paper after the sports section. It was a tiny little blur. The back the newspaper. And they said. The, the U.S. oil reserves will run out in five years unless they find another uh, oil supply to mm-hmm. fill it back up. Five years later, 9-11, they in war in Iraq. I mean, Afghanistan and Iraq. That's like that thing uh, where they say uh, the day... I, 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 I got to say they because I, I didn't see it myself, but uh, they say that the... Was it Rumsfeld, I believe it was? Mm-hmm. He uh, announced the day before about a $24 trillion loss um, day before 9-11. Yeah, 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 yeah. something like that. Uh, I haven't seen an official. I've seen that on, like, yeah, you know, um, Zeitgeist, yeah, you know, that yeah, kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, and it's just, that's, that's what my thing is, like, that's kind of why I don't believe conspiracy theories, because I feel like they put the stuff out there. <clears throat> like, again, to me, it's like, the government don't have to have. My, my, my go-to thing is, like, if, they, if tomorrow you woke up and they was like, yeah, whatever news program you watch, uh, you, they was like, yeah, uh, Trump did executive order, slavery back on. So you people, you report to this, this field. What the fuck you going to do? What the fuck can you do? I mean, I've been on that wave. I've been, I've been on the wave that, because black, we going deep. Uh, I mean, but black, we're not trying to go there, but black people didn't, Free themselves. I'm not even, exactly. And that's, well, I'm not even going there with it. What I'm saying is that people look for hidden messages and all this other stuff. Like, to me, mm-hmm. like, it's not. Oh, I thought you were saying. They don't argue with you. They put this shit right out there. They can just say. They people are. Like, people aren't interested. If they, people aren't interested. I, I'm, I'm like, along with that, I'm, I was listening to some things uh, earlier today about uh, Trump. Tell me some things about Trump. And. Uh, They're disgusting. <laughs> uh how he he's doing it in your like the and I keep going back to I probably said this on the podcast three times Russia if you have the emails I need you to bro he stood right there I thought he said the shit, and it, the shit came it's, it's right out in the open it's, then he said the thing that he did today they brought that back up because the thing he did yesterday or today uh, where he uh, what did he announce on Twitter oh Sessions, you should end this right yeah, now. Yeah, 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 he's, yeah, he's, yeah. he's he's doing it right in your face, but somehow because he's doing it on Twitter, if like they said, if that was an email, yeah, man, <laughs> the same like, exact words. But that's the thing, dude. The same, it's, you're right, you're right. Because if somebody, if this an email that was on WikiLeaks or something yeah. like that, people will lose their fucking mind yeah. because it's like they feel like that's secret, but that transparency that Trump has yeah. is like that's a transparency. I don't know what I said, whatever. You said, yeah, you said transfers, but I don't know if that's the right word, though, is it? Yeah, man. Yeah. But I get I guess, uh, well, it ain't tra- well, I guess maybe just the, I don't give a fuck. Just the fact that Trump put it out there. Yeah. People almost like, well, it can be illegal if he just put it out there. I think people underestimate how much he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Right. He, he flat out, he's flat out doing it in your face. Yeah. And do, he'll do it in a tweet. And then somehow say, when you get called on it, tweets don't matter. Oh, just, but I'm just talking. He fired. Yeah, what's his name? Um, I forgot who. Not over homie, through but, tweet. Uh, the other dude. What the, uh, the FBI dude. He fired yeah. him by tweet. Yeah. 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 What the 
what's his? It don't matter. So he doing official business yeah, by exactly. tweet. Exactly. So and that's, <laughs> that's kind of, I've heard the argument. They're like, well, this, and that's the thing because that because he fired that guy by tweet. Yeah. He made his po- he announced the policy by tweet. Mm-hmm. So we got to take the tweets as this is the way he communicates. Right, 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 right. We have to, you know what I'm saying? And then but he, he, when he do the bullshit. It's, it's like they all just a sweet. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, it's, Trump is, is is magical. Yeah, yeah, right. You feel like both ways. Hey, I think that people are using Trump. I don't know if people are just taking this what he's doing, or it's always been this way. It's just now I have something in my face that I can see it where people do this Trump. I call it like Trumpisms. It hasn't been this way. They they definitely have more finesse in the way they've. Done there, but I'm, but I'm watching everyday people I'm around have these Trump isms. How they uh, the moving of the goalposts that he do, they keep moving the goalposts, well, you know, they can never be wrong. Uh, it's funny because, like, yeah, that's the thing because Don Jr. did that uh, today. Don Jr. sent out a tweet, it was Anderson Cooper standing in the water up to his waist. And then they showed, like, his camera crew was standing on regular land. They were filming him. Mm. And so he sent out, the, he was like, yeah, stop sending out fake news to try to make my father look bad. Mm. And so Anderson Cooper responded, like, yeah, that wasn't me. He's like, dude, that picture's 10 years old. That wasn't me in that current hurricane. This is from back in the day. And so he was the whole thing, kind of explained everything he was doing, the show clips, and showed all this. Mm. And so they was like, Anderson Cooper lies in his defense of what he did. Mm-hmm. Like how did Anderson Cooper lie? Well, Anderson Cooper said that Don Jr. said that that was Anderson Cooper. And, they <laughs> and see, Don Damn. Jr. never said that that was that specific hurricane. Yeah. Now, his tweet heavily implied, like, if you see somebody standing in water two days after the hurricane hit, Not you're right, implying right. that they're in that hurricane. Right, right. But he never specifically said, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's that little bit of wiggle room that people that, the people that agree with hold on to. And kind of, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's kind of that's the thing. It's like that's the movement of the goalpost. Mm-hmm. That's the post factual society that we're in. This is people don't care about facts. Post factual society. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what I thought. It's it's real though. I, I mean, this thing. Think about it. Like uh, the easiest way to win a win an argument. Mm-hmm. You be talking to somebody they be like. Well, such such did this. Well, you know, how did you know he did that? Man, that motherfucker knew. Like, we mind readers now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's what Cat Williams was reading. We don't deal hey, with that. Hey, 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 no! Hey, hey, I'm thinking this, man. I'm thinking something wrong. Oh, he's thinking on that one, too. Hey, just can't. It hits me like, hey. a, like in a little splash. It hits me like, I, I think we I got it. We're going to Cat. I want to talk about the weird experience I had this week. A weird experience? I ran into an old bully of mine. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you know the story already? I saw it. I saw him run into him. Oh. I don't know his take on it, though. I don't know his take on it. Oh. Y'all doing outside <laughs> activities again without me. Oh. And this is the thing. You, de- you definitely, definitely could have came. I felt the way. Nobody invited Because I'm a lot bigger when I was then. <laughs> is he a small fry? He's not a big guy. And, he, and, and, and he's not doing well. Mm. Like health, it seems like health wise, he's not doing well. Okay. He might be. So when we say bully, like he beat you up or took your lunch money. I'm gonna tell you a specific situation. We were playing football. Is this somebody I know? Potentially, no. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Okay. What high school with us? Nobody you hang out with. Well. MC Egg Whites. It don't matter if you ain't on. It don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't, you don't know. Anyway. Shout out to Rock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that. Okay. So, uh, well, anyway, the thing, the specific scenario, it, like, it was kind of an ongoing thing where it was, I was intimidated by this person. Okay. But the specific incident I remember is that we were all on the football team. And so, uh, coach wanted me, like, we had a tryout where I was going to take his position halfway through the season. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I ended up not getting it because, you know, he's bigger than me at the mm-hmm. time. And they were like, well, you know, we need somebody stronger in that position, whatever, whatever. So after practice, we get dressed. And I remember I put on my favorite Florida State shirt. Mm-hmm. It was a dope-ass Florida State shirt I had. Wait, the, the tan ones with the goddamn colors? No. Around color? It was one. That, you know the ones that's almost like a tie-dye type thing? They had the logo. They had a whole bunch of little graphics and shit. Okay, I remember that. Was... the story about this T-shirt? Yes, I did. Because okay. I thought the way about this okay. T-shirt. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. He got bullying shoes. So I was, I was waiting on the bus. <laughs> 
And then he Daddy ran. issues, but the issues. I was waiting on the I was waiting on the sports bus. Somebody violently grabbed me from behind and snatched me and tore my shirt. Now my thing is like you're already bigger than me. Why you gotta grab me from behind? Mm-hmm. So I'm on the ground and he and so he was standing over me. He was like, "Yeah, motherfucker, you ain't gonna never take my spot." Again, that wasn't my decision. That was the coach's decision. Mm-hmm. I had nothing to do with that. I feel like your anger is misplaced. Mm-hmm. But you know, you had logic. Yeah, <laughs> logic wasn't working. You know what I'm saying? Logic don't mean shit. You know what I'm saying? And the thing was, and, he, and like I felt, and he was like, "Yeah, motherfucker, I told your shirt. You better not tell your mom because I ain't paying for shit." Mm-hmm. Like I hadn't even planned on telling my mom, mm-hmm. but I just felt like a bitch. You know what I'm saying? It's like cool. So I got up, I dusted myself off, I went home with my toy shirt. I tried to go home and hide the shit. My mom found it. And so she wanted to go, like, she wanted to go, like, nah, he gonna pay for it. I'm like, nah. She, mm. she was like, well, fuck that. And like, like, you gonna go fight it? I'm like, nah, mama. Mm-hmm. Like, this ain't that. Like, this ain't a teacher moment, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I never got any retribution for that. Is this why she was there? Huh? Is this why she was there? Yeah, she worked at the school. Okay. She did, I mean, she wasn't there because it was after school, but she found out about it later. Mm-hmm. Once she found out who it was, she kind of like, because again, like, he had legit like mental issues. Mm-hmm. Like he'd been, we kind of talked about this last week. I think so. Yeah. Okay. But then again, I, I. But you talked about it differently. Yeah, and then I ran into him, and like a lot of old stuff kind of came flooding yeah. back. And, I was like, <laughs> and then what's crazy is like because I spoke on some old, you know what's cool? It's all Jesus, man. What up, what up, bro? And he was like, "What for kind of look like he, didn't he remember was me. taking up all." And like he didn't remember me, so I guess he he him definitely don't remember me being inebriated. Like I was like, "What's up?" And he was looking at me like. Like, like, he was like, what's up here? I'm like, should I hit him in Like, I had a moment. I was like, perfect opportunity, huh? I was like, I ain't drunk enough. I, and I ain't drank yet. And Strange like, enough, you'd have been wrong. I know. And that's the problem. It's like, I don't, and the, 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 what's the word? What's the word? Whatever the situation he was in, what's the word? The, uh, with the dynamic, what do you want? Just the dynamic, whatever it is. It's like, yeah, I was sitting on him in this situation, his lifestyle, and just the way. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm like, because like, life is whooping his ass. Life is beating his life. So that's the life is tearing, life, life is he, daily, lost. he lost. He lost. That's the retribution right there. Say, life is daily tearing his Florida State shirt. And my, <laughs> <laughs> I, I can take some solace in that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because I think he was there with a, with a, with a significant other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I'm glad you were the bigger man. You I'm didn't sorry, know. I'm bigger right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to yeah. know who this person is off record. Yeah, I'll tell and, you all uh, But, yeah. Uh, I went home and I thought about that. I'm not going to lie to you. It's funny. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't, it didn't it resonate. It didn't resonate it, it, with me. I know it because you don't understand. <laughs> if I'd have saw you on the floor, <laughs> on the ground, like with your with your shirt with your shirt over your head, <laughs> and, 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 and that's why I'm not a fighter. Maybe, maybe. Because I think things through. Because I'm like, what if I lose? Mm. Like you know what I'm saying? He ain't got nothing to lose right now. Right. Right now he can fight me to the death. Right here in this in this situation. Right here he could cool fight me to the death. Like I got shit to do tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got nothing to live for. So you know, well, you probably would have overwhelmingly won you know, that fight, huh? You probably would have overwhelmingly won that fight. Yeah, overwhelmingly. And everybody, oh. like, and it would have messed the whole and everybody, like, yeah. Up. Like, yeah. what are you doing? And then you would have been like, it might have been easy to read too. It might have looked like you was taking advantage. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah, yeah, you would have yeah. did it. And then, yeah, because yeah. again, it's like, okay, I didn't have, I didn't, I, I guess I got to keep the same energy. I would have did that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because how, how am I any better than him if I do what right. he did? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and this is why I think too much. I should have just swung. And then I would be the whole story. No. But you're not him. Exactly. You're not him. Exactly, man. I'm too blessed to be doing that, man. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. Now what's the segue you made? So we're running because you did my thing. Cal Williams. <laughs> you did shit on my segue, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> we're, not, we're not sagging or your way uh, right now. <laughs> so, uh, did y'all see the Cat Williams interview? I saw a good twelve minutes of it. Yeah, it was maybe ten minutes. Well, I mean, and again, it's like I'm not a huge Cat Williams fan. I like Pimp Chronicles and maybe like the one after that, but after that, I kind of felt like the whole thing was kind of played out. Mm-hmm. And then again, like, so I heard him talking, and he was talking about all the stuff he did, like how he had more shows than anybody in history, and I was like... I didn't really see that part. Because well, no, you, you only saw the Wanda when part of her Well, kind of... I watched Brand, the whole Brand, thing for some reason, I did too. and I, did I ran too. into her talking about him. Yeah. Why do I keep calling? Red Grant. 
You can't say his name on this podcast. He ain't work now, man. Wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hello. I need to get back on my couch. I don't know these young comedians. I know all old comedians. Yeah, I, not Ha Ha Davis. They ain't, ain't who I was talking. I was talking about Ryan Davis, by the way. Off the subject. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, I was wondering like, how I can't see. How yeah, I no, no, Ha Ha Davis. Like, I saw Ha Ha Davis up there. Like, nah, I don't want to see him. Yeah, I'm like, like work. Like, <laughs> um. I, no, we gotta give them tickets for shows though. Oh damn! October, sometime in October. It's coming up. Alright, cool. I might even get them like my next. I'm the first in my like, uh, The views from the six. Yeah, from the cis. Cis. That's what it is. Cis gender. That's that's awesome. That's awesome. I never knew that. Awesome. But yeah, can't speaking of comedians. Uh, Cat Cat Williams ass. Uh, well, and speaking of Schultz and Charlamagne the God. So when I listened to Dunk the other day. I listen to a lot of shit today, and I think about it. Um, well, you know, before we even get to the dunk in that, because the thing is, because like, you heard that too, I did. I heard it. I think I put I put it in the chat so y'all can hear it. Post factual, Post factual society. Huh? Post factual society. Post factual society. That's it. Because again, it's like when Cat was talking, he said he had more comedy shows than anybody, any actor, living or dead. I was like. Okay, like mm-hmm. I was just, like I was like, you know what? Maybe he does. See maybe. when he said those things though. And when it, when he first said it, I just accepted it. And but I but when he said that, I was like, eh, sure, whatever. Because again, because mm-hmm. I, because like it's a, like dude, it's been, it's dude's been doing comedy 40, 50 years. Like Lenny Bruce, like George Carlin, mm-hmm. like Richard Pryor. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of you know. But again, maybe they didn't do specials back then. Maybe I don't know. Whatever. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. You got that. He was talking about how he he made it, you know what I'm saying? Because and then when he said the 24 million off him crumbles, I'm like, this motherfucker lying. Because I think you know what I realized that, and I said this a couple. I think I think we talking about. I said this the, uh, maybe last week. Is I don't think people understand the scope of some of the numbers they be saying when they say shit. All right. 24 million is a shitload of fucking money, bro. He said 24 million tickets. Did he no, say? 24 million. He made 24 million off Pimp Chronicles. Is what he said. Okay. Because of Atlanta. Right. My nigga, it's not 20. It's not. I don't think it's like three million people. Like it's yeah. three million people. Was it six million people in Chicago? Right. Something like, like that. It's not. You Eight. know what I'm saying? Every single person in Atlanta had to go see your show ten times for you to make twenty four million in Atlanta? dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like I think you talking about the video though. I don't care, bro. Circulating. No How much he selling for? A thousand dollars a piece? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and it was it was it was just nah. If he sold them for a thousand dollars a piece, two hundred and forty thousand people gotta buy that. That, that 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 shit wasn't through the hood like that. Yeah, exactly. And again, the bootleg like, man didn't have pimp crown. And again, and my thing because then. you know what's crazy is that because what made me think of it, I don't know why, but it's like whenever I think of Cat Williams, I think of Michael. No, not Michael Chase. The guy, what's the cat? The cat name that was on Saturday Night Live. He's doing voices. We'll always do our black comedian voices, and then he would always do Obama. Um, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, black Because he just had a show called White Famous. It don't matter. You know what I'm talking about, right? I don't know his name. It's a comedian. I know you're talking right? about though. Jay Farrow. Yeah. Jay Farrow. Yeah. Now, my thing is this, is that he's more famous than Cat Williams because he's on fucking Saturday Night Live. He's white famous. Right. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, anytime you did that Cat Williams, that Cat Williams impression, it would always fucking land. It would just fall flat. Really? Because white people don't know who the fuck Cat Williams is. <laughs> You're not making twenty-four million dollars off a comedy show in the hood, bro. Yeah. It's just not happening. Okay, let's do this. Let's get into Cat Williams for a second. I don't even mean to. Dra- I don't want to drag him because I might meet him and then I res- I got respect for his craft and what he do and who he is. So. It ain't really to drag him, but I guess I'll do to him I what mean, he attempted to do. It's the thing. It's like to cat to uh, the Cat young Williams lady. He's a legend, though. Yeah, he a legend in what he do. Now I'm gonna say he a legend. What is legend? Even? We did it already. Right. What I'm gonna say is legend. Everybody said Monique is a legend. I don't think either one's really a true legend, but whatever. Yeah, true. Um, but they're black legends. So they black legends, whatever case. But he not at all black because I, how I know you, and if you know me that way. The Cat Williams don't do it for me. Nope. <laughs> I fell asleep on that last one. Yeah. Now it was definitely somebody sitting next to me, kiki ki and laughing their ass off. Yeah. I know. I, I I can't do that type of comedy. That slapstick shit. That's that medieval, don't do it for me. Yeah, that don't do it for me. I hate comedy where the punchline is a cuss word. <laughs> 
Yeah, how you say this? Uh, bitch! Yeah. <laughs> the way you say bitch is funny, like, that's not funny to me. Yeah, you know Dave Chappelle shit where Dave Chappelle say, mm-hmm. I'm going to use this as a punchline. I'm going to give you the punchline of the joke before he did. This dude, Dave Chappelle said, I'm so good at this, mm-hmm. I can give you the punchline and then make a joke. He's still going to laugh right. at the fucking punchline. Right. I mean, he did this shit, and the shit was fucking funny. So you know he went already, already, he's already thinking about it's human psychology yeah. how think like, and how I'm gonna talk and tell the story. You're gonna lose track of what I already gave it to you because exactly. I'm I'm, pl- I'm playing that three card Monty with your brain that and, way. And, that's, and what's so crazy is that the way he did it because the joke wasn't funny. If he just did that joke, it wouldn't have been funny. right, 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 right. But the whole the whole premise, the whole build up. That, that, that's right. a dope ass premise to right. where I'm gonna give you a punchline in order to make a joke funny right. is fucking like this nigga because, playing, this motherfucker playing chess bro right, right. so the, the, the type of comedy that I would like and I prefer and even I do on a small level when I'm in my conversations with people is I really didn't tell the joke. Yeah. I said something that made you think something exactly. funny. Exactly. I didn't really tell a joke. <laughs> like my thing is this is like if you if you say you wrote for somebody and they got a big nose. Mm. If I make a joke about your nose, I feel like I lost. Mm-hmm. That's the obvious shit. I'm a like, yeah, and you gonna be expecting that. Mm. And like, honestly, if I tell a nose joke, it's really not gonna get it. But it's like, if I commit some shit, if I go subvert your, if I subvert your, 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 your prior ideas, and I go somewhere else, like, oh, look at these cat shoes, look at these jeans, look at this whole, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, dude, like, don't give me the basic shit. Yeah, yeah. And, and to me, Cat Williams is just basic, like it's pimping and, and polo tink tink and all this and this. And. Before I even go there to hear him personally, they say this thing that people's intelligence can be gauged off what they find funny. Yep, I agree. Um, and sometimes you feel it. Like yep. some people think some shit is like that's not funny. So, for instance, and nothing take nothing from Mike Epps because I like Mike Epps. I like to hang out with that nigga, kick it with that nigga, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? He's like a cool ass dude. I respect what he do. I like his story, all that shit. But that type of comedy, you can't do the Tootsie Roll on the stage and make me laugh. Yeah, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That don't really do it for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm happy it's working for you like a motherfucker. It's but funny, bro. Yeah, but you, the Tootsie Roll don't do it for me. Just like Tyler Perry throwing that dress. It don't move. Yeah, I can't, I, I can't roll. I can't, I can't rock with that. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely going to have to be something. So when he's sitting there going, ah, I don't really know Rio's comedy like that. She can speak to that more often because I know she dealt with uh, knowledge and knowledge, um, What's his name? <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> Why you make me laugh right now? Funny, no, she no. Dude used to uh, knowledge used to uh, be his manager. That's why. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. See, I didn't bring it up on no funny shit. Uh, <laughs> but no. Uh, um, so she can speak to Real more often because I'm pretty sure she's seen some shows. No, I like Real. Honestly, Real is uh, Real a worker, man. Real built himself up. I like that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? But I never, I never seen one of his sets before. I I've know. seen. You know what? It's crazy. Is when I used to go to uh, BJ's and all that, it was like because Damon was doing this. Like Leon used to be there, Michi, a bunch of whole Marcus, uh, Chicago comedians, a bunch of Chicago cats, and like Rel was there. Rel was just getting started. Mm. Rel was not funny. Rel was cool, and I. And I can tell, like, the real problem I'm is lying. That, I did used to see him back in when D-Ray did, did the thing yeah, over D-Ray used to be there, yeah. and Deion Cole, and all them cats yeah. used to be there. And real, I feel like real was too smart for his crowd. Real cool. Like, mm. I don't know if, like, again, I haven't seen the stand-up in a while, but, like, real was cool. He was good. Like, he, I've seen him work himself up. Because real was a dude that came out first because he was new and he did mm-hmm. the same set every time. Mm-hmm. But then after a while, he started doing different sets. And it was another, because him and this other dude, dude did the same set every time he came up. And real would try different shit. He'd throw a joke out there. And I would see the progression because we used to go every week. So I see like the joke he did. The joke he did at the end last time was his first joke. And that's, you know what I'm saying? Because once you, he'd find the jokes that work and he would keep that little solid chord and he'd try mm-hmm. one or two more. And I'd see the ones that work. So I kind of seen the beginnings of his career. And I'm mm-hmm. like, you know, this dude kind of funny. Like, so to see the finished, finished product, it's kind of dope. You know what I'm saying? I still mm-hmm. haven't watched his show because I mean, I don't, I don't think Red is one of those, like, I think Mike Epps would be better in a show than like a guy like Rel is. I think you know some people are conversationally funny, right. and some people are like you know what I'm saying. That sometimes it does take some physical comedy, and I don't know that. I don't think Rel is that because yeah. he got a real because dr- I think that was the problem with the Carmichael show. Because Carmichael like he is, he has a really, it's cerebral. He has a really dry, really cerebral. I love that shit. Like, but, you know, a nigga, I, a comedian can sit on a fucking bench, yeah. in front of me, but you know, <laughs> with you know, an all white background. 
and just spit. Yeah. Because, you know, a guy like Carmichael, his thing is that he lives in those awkward silences. You know what I'm saying? And it's not a lot of comedians like that. Yeah, it's yeah. like, I love that shit. It's a, that, yeah, and I like that. Like, a lot of people, they need that feedback. But for him, like, when people are quiet, it's like, okay, I got y'all motherfuckers thinking. It's like, y'all know what, you know what I'm saying? Subvert y'all. Like, like, to me, like, Dan Cole is one of the funniest motherfuckers in the history of the world. Bro. I think he's gay now. And I love Dion. I don't know. It's, Sorry. I, I can't disagree. You came right in with it, okay. He did kind of just. She's <laughs> been all the time. Nobody's dead. It's fine. Yeah. We, we got you. Wait, wait, stop. Why do you think he gay? Let's go. He just do questionable stuff now. And I like Dion. I mean, personal knowledge, or you saying what you see in, on, on the media? Both. That's it. It's another fabulous yeah. story. You know some people? You can't. You heard some shit. <laughs> she always heard some shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, questionable outfits, questionable things that he does outfits? say. You know... Mannerisms, but I like Dion, so I don't know. But I just feel like Hollywood got some. But that's why I said keep going. Well, hold on. Let me ask you a question. It takes more than just uh, uh, a move and some money to make me decide I'm a sucker penis. Niggas just ain't yeah, just going I mean, gay. I think people throw gay. I think gay <laughs> that's a real I life decision to, to smoke on. a penis. Forget about this. Bro. Bro. Nobody's like, just. Let's just edit this. Let's just edit this. Because I don't want this. To be on Dion, because he's from Chicago. And I actually like You just fixed it. Let me ask you a question, Ty. We talking about gay? No, we're going to go back to the time already instead of gay. Okay. That's a relief to you? That's better. That's better. I haven't been raised, so it's better. I think the chick I was raped. How was that? She was a mental basket. Not a mental basket. Like a emotional basket. How was that? She was a mental, not a mental basket. Like a emotional, like. She's kind of nonchalant about it. Really? Cause she was was like, it a family member or something? No, or? it was a... Fuck, I don't even know if I want to tell a story like this. Okay. Pretty much her story was that she invited a guy over and he kind of just took it. And so then her boyfriend came over. And like her boyfriend was a big dumb swole motherfucker. Ridic- like dumb... I met this dude, this motherfucker like... If, if you like... If you ask this nigga, well, if you ask this motherfucker what three plus three, he'd have to like count his fingers type motherfucker. Oh my god, why is that? So he came over and so the thing was he was mad at her because he had some dude over there because he was like, that was in here doing something. Uh-huh. So she didn't tell him she didn't tell that dude just rape her because she didn't want her boyfriend to kill the dude. Yeah. I'm like. I think that uh, Wait what? I think Justin's the rapist In the story Let me tell you what I thought <laughs> I think in this story uh, he, long, How would he know We had a long <laughs> We had a long Super relationship Full of consent She had a boyfriend though Okay And the big guy Came over No the, look, no, the big guy Was a boyfriend Some guy came over Oh okay And took it but the thing was, he took it violently. How, how did, I mean, I mean, it was. I mean, he wrestled. He kind of wrestled her down, and she just. Wait, that's insensitive, right? It is. It doesn't matter how he took it. He took, he it. took it. But he wrestled it down. I'm and learning. I didn't have to say anything. See, we we are we are. I'm trying to evolve. We are good allies. I appreciate. It. But anyway, so I don't. What did, I'm gonna put this business girl in the tree for. Oh, okay, I have some right. about Okay, anyway, so. Going back to the old Kavanaugh thing, because you kind of missed all of that. And I, I, my thing was, I kind of said that as bad as this sounds, is that you almost need more than one accusation before I kind of feel like that should color your character. Really? Because, again, like if you're saying that in high school, you were overly aggressive with a woman to the point where you had to cover her mouth, like, that's not okay. Mm-hmm. But... That might, I mean, I've done some things at 17, 18, at 23, 28 that are not me at right. 40. So I can't imagine you did something at 17 to where you're 52. Let me do that quick math real quick. 35, 52? 34, 5, yep. Where now you're a Supreme Court, you know, so you're a judge, a respected judge who's been at the job for 20 years, and now this should... Bear, I, I guess my question is that should this be should this one incident be a barrier for entry for whatever? I don't think so. I believe in second chances. 
And I do believe people evolve. Yeah, I, cause, and that's my thing. Because you're not the same person you were as yeah, exactly. seen at 40. Exactly. You know what I mean? Because like, oh, I was a fucking idiot. God damn. But that's what I'm saying, though. You know, so. Have you ever talked to your son? Because I did it when I talked to my daughter and they say some shit. And I'm like, you stupid, beautiful motherfucker, you. He don't give me that. <laughs> okay. Cause my, daughter, my daughter, because you, y'all know my, and my, my daughter be saying some shit. I'm like, that's so sweet. Bless your heart. He, I say that because I be like, dude, this makes too much sense. Like, I be like, dude, just relax. Your son different though. Yeah, yeah I just like, dude, relax. I, it's <laughs> weird, but like, I want to have more conversations with your son. Have him. When like, he come, whenever he come back. Old, dude. I want to have him on the podcast. I'm going to have my daughter come back. We're going to have, have him. him on the podcast. You should. The podcast. When they come back for Christmas break or Thanksgiving break. Right. Right. Your daughter on the podcast? Um, your daughter? Your daughter. My daughter? Yeah. I like your daughter. She's funny. Yes. <laughs> Why is this, do I take them now? We're going to have the kids do the that'll podcast be, one week. That'll be cool. Instead of us. That'll be cool. Yeah. Um, I don't, but then again, I don't know if we're going to have two 18-year-olds and a 14-year-old. And for that, I would rather have my other daughter if she ever come to this month. Uh, <laughs> don't throw her. Don't throw her. The, don't uh, do that. the other kid. Be shit no I think she gonna do yeah, some yeah, shit. Yeah, I heard her talking shit about my mama. I'm <laughs> saying about this punk ass motherfucker. I do got a bad problem. I do talk a lot of shit about their mamas. Do, to them? No, 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 no. Let's Not hard. Clear. Let's be clear. Don't do that. Yes, you do. Yeah. To them? Yes, you do. I, I crack jokes. I do that too. Okay, so I do that too. Okay, if it's a joke, but not just. Yeah, I don't be sitting around like you. Know, okay. Mommy. That's probably all the other topic. Are you the cool parent or is your, is the father the cool parent? I think it's both. But I so think he's. Cool, the father's cool parent. No, but what I'm saying is, I think it's. He, the father is cooler because. I'm really the disciplinarian. Yeah, I feel like it's. You, so you gotta be disciplinarian. And I also feel like a father to father, father to son relationship is different from the father. I mean, a sister, mm, the mother son relationship. I think it's it's a different it's, bond. Especially as a man. Yeah. yeah so you say racist shit to your kid. He say racist stuff to me. What you mean? <laughs> <laughs> you might be on something. You say like racist stuff. Yes. Right. I well, think that's the same way that I play. Like I do that too. And I think that's why I ask a question. I, I say, Fine. you serious? Yeah. But you kind of not serious. Right, it's a right, joke. Right, right, right. It's a joke. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I do the and same thing. Because like, you, know, you love me, you're not gonna take it serious. Right, right, right. right, 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 right. right. I feel the way. Plus you see you. Plus you see me interact. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know I'm not. Is. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you got stupid. You see what's going on here. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm saying what I'm saying. And that's how I kind of talk shit about. So, it. So see, but I don't do that. I don't talk trash day, was, about my son father. I was take, I was putting some uh, trash yeah, back. It wasn't it wasn't well, trash. I mean bag. I just I mean jokes. I might do a joke or two, but yeah, jokes. Yeah, yeah. I took about my wife. So. Like his gear. I want to be. Oh, that's what I'm I'm bringing my baby mom. I be trying to do the um the exes, but I can't do it now. My baby do it. It might be. I do it though. Still. It could be intense. My, my baby mama would do it. I think she would do it. Mine so probably would have did it before Jalen's trunk party. I don't know about now. That's the thing. I almost kind of feel like you know using your feelings. If y'all met my baby mama, I think y'all would look at me differently. Why? I was, I was young and stupid. I met your baby mama. What's up? Oh, you did. Why would you even say that? Maybe because I feel away. Why? I don't like her. You like to end that moment when you shot the club, up. Up, though. Baby, it's possible for y'all to like my baby mama, because your baby mama seemed cool to me. <laughs> it's different once you just dealt with somebody, though. You can tell me it's possible for y'all to like my baby mama. I would hate that. I know <laughs> if my baby daddy, look, like, looking at my baby daddy right now, if he was how he was then, there's no way that we would deal with each other. Yeah, but I'm going to and that's the thing, like, now, nah. There's be absolutely be no now. way now. in life that I would be dealing with him. Or would have dealt with him. She was my first. Y'all that? She was my first. Oh, yeah, that's I ain't, why you don't like her. I ain't answer the I was 18. Oh. She was my first. And Bless your heart. Exactly. Um, I surprised you never came up before. If my first got pregnant, y'all. Yeah. Oh, I almost said a name. Well, no. Oh, shit. You gotta guess. It was a joke, though, but I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm you not even guess. gonna y'all say Y'all never it. guess. I was gonna say, to can I give initials or no? Because I was being initial, funny. Give me initial, give me initial. <laughs> yeah, TR. No, but I'm trying to think who that is. <laughs> I was like this. <laughs> you stupid. Wait, wait, wait. I'm like, 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 I'm like
Yeah, I almost got. Damn, why did Ray King call me? Don't worry, fans. I lost too. Yeah, don't worry about that, y'all. That, I hope everybody lost on that one. Yeah. Get that between me and Tom. Uncle Dero. No. Uh, uh, let me ask him. Let me ask him. On the podcast. She's thinking about right it. Right now. Who was that? Put on. He, he ignorant. He gonna cut. He gonna be like, who the fuck is this? Hello. Oh, uh, what up? Hey, you think your mom's still up? She just called me, but I'm gonna I'm text you the number to call. She called me from ring the cell phone. Oh, uh, what's up? Shut up. Who was that? <laughs> it's Justin, man. What's going on? Who is this? Justin. <laughs> Justin? Yeah. Hey, what's up? Uh, you don't know your niece do a podcast with a guy named Justin and a guy named Kwaku? Kwaku? <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought that the first time I heard the name. That, that's me. That's me. He yeah. African. <laughs> I'm going to text you the number and we're going to end this call. Oh, no. Oh, you're on the podcast, man. Talk to us, man. What's good? I'm glad he ain't got time. Oh, what's good? I hung up. Oh, you bogus, man. They ain't got time for this. This is too much. This day has been... I'm, re- I'm ready for this day to be over. So I can go to... No, I'm ready to go to sleep and just start uh, a new day. But no. Nah. Cat Williams. Good going, Cat Williams. Yeah, Cat Williams. Yeah. Well, I guess I didn't. I only saw maybe like what led up to like a little from like. Uh, so I'm gonna tell you what, I, cause I feel like oh girl Wanda start taking jabs first. Yeah, she did. She did. And she so did. basically. I didn't feel that, but okay. I did. She was throwing no, shade was like not, her undertone. Like going to jail or something like that. That's but, what kicked but it off. Is, I kind of feel like. I don't know. I was wondering where the kickoff was. I, to me, I, that's what it was. But that's what comedians do. Is they kind of did it back up. Y'all, we roasting each other. And right. Cool. You know what I'm saying? And I do think that Cat, my, I mean. You seem hypersensitive, though. Who, he did? Yeah. I didn't take it that way. I think both of them did. Because it's, it's, it seems like well, You know, because, but I think the thing is that because, because I didn't see the beginning of the conversation. Mm-hmm. And so she was trying to pick up Tiffany Haddish. And he kind of shot that down real quick. Right. And so it was like. She was maybe a little bit in her feelings. So that sounded like a kickoff. So she kind of took a shot. Yeah, I didn't see that part. Awesome. I'm I a little bit in my feelings, but I want to defend Tiff, but I want to go back and forth with you. She took a little shot. Mm-hmm. They did a little back and forth. He went, like, he kind of went for the jump in a little bit. It's like, almost like he was keeping, she was keeping it radio by bringing up the the other comedian yeah, 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 and she yeah, said some yeah, positive yeah, things yeah, and he yeah, like nah yeah. fuck that positive shit he was she I mean, he, shit. He had a see I didn't really had, see that was, in the order that it happened and it seems like to me that him being an orator mm-hmm. being somebody who stands in front of people doing something we don't even do stand in front of large crowds and speak he's using inflection to get his words across certain ways so so like him, him, him speaking in that manner that he speaks in, said, it never seems stressed out. And it's almost like it's like fact. I'm, I'm factual. I'm, I'm bothered. Yeah, these are all facts. And, you know what it is? and I think that's the. And it's like I think some people have a, a oratory or or what's the audible authority. Yeah, ain't no word for that oratorial. Yeah, oratorial. <laughs> I mean, I think it's something that you know what I'm saying because it's like I, mean, I I used to go to this com- I used to go to this poetry set and these two dudes that always hosted it. So they tried to do comedy one time, and they weren't good at comedy. Mm-hmm. But you can tell they were very comfortable talking in front of people. Mm-hmm. And that, you, know, you can see when somebody's very comfortable talking in front of people. That's one thing I always want to get is comfortable. You know, just talking in front of a live audience. Right. But, like, you can tell when people have done their reps and their experience at that. And I think that's the thing. I think people are kind of drawn to that. It's kind of like, it's kind of like a self-authentication, where it's like, if you're comfortable and you say something, people kind of like... Mm-hmm. I don't listen to doubt you, you know? I mean, off the subject, but still on, on that subject, cause today was a day that kind of like, threw, not threw me off, but it kind of like I'm watching myself do something. Like today I got a call this morning. Somebody, uh, a guy calls me, say, I, need, I do CPR training, for, by the way. Uh, Vantage CPR training, 708-320. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but no, uh, but what I do, this, somebody called me this morning and said they need CPR class. Somebody canceled them. I got 27 people. Ooh. Uh, teachers, so I have 27 teachers, and I need CPR training today, 1230. <laughs> I got time, ho. Yeah, <laughs> let me wake up. <laughs> 1300? Uh, 40 times, what I charge? Yeah, no, 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 I charge on the full rate 60 um, times 27 with a 20% discount. So it came to 1290. So 12, 1292. 12, I definitely got time. Right, I got time, right? Um, 
And then I guess the cards cost me like another five hundred dollars or so, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So keep the rest. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so and just regular CPI, that's an hour and a half. <laughs> that's an hour and a half. You go there. So I go in there, it's at a church. I pull up to a church. Mm-hmm. In Crete. No problem with this, we're all Anglo Saxons. Middle age. Yeah, 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 who calls it? Who says that? Okay. Middle age. They see they could have locked you in the uh, basement in the church. Up. Here I go pulling in there. I wasn't even prepared. I don't know if I'm even shaved today like that. I don't even know. Like mm-hmm. I ain't got. I don't got on none of my. I didn't do none of my um, sambo shit. Yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah, do yeah. that. Let me get ready. You got your top yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, didn't, I, I, wasn't, I didn't even prepare to do it. Like a little two step. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't have time. Yeah, I went there and did me. Now. Uh, it was it was moments in that where I saw a bunch. Of, this is racist as hell. <laughs> where I saw a bunch of blue eyes looking at me. <laughs> it was a rough. <laughs> Black people have blue eyes too. <laughs> there was there's a few moments with a thought uh, while I'm doing my little routine. Well, I did notice. <laughs> yeah, 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 I had yeah, all these yeah, eyes yeah, on me, yeah, yeah. but it never. Was unnerving to me. Mm-hmm. It, it was never any butterflies. How long you been doing that? It's been about six years. So yeah, you talking from it's the ground to you is nothing. Yes, gone. It's like he's going. And I've been in a lot of weird situations like that. I got called to some. The worst one was like a corporate situation. I got called into, and I cooned by mistake on this one. Cause I got jokes, you know. You gotta keep the class. That's my thing. That's that's how I'm separating myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I make the class fun and cool yeah, and this kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. It's not your boring CPR class. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So certain groups, I got certain jokes. One day I get called into this corporate situation where people, are just, I don't know why they need a CPR class, and it's like they hit a work, do their regular job, their desk jobs, and mm-hmm. IT stuff and all that shit. And for some reason, they got to take a CPR class today for training. Mm-hmm. So I'm in there, and it was like all. Uh, Anglo-Saxons, I don't know why, um, and um, <laughs> and two Nubians. At least you know. <laughs> and two Nubian queens, and uh, I'm doing. And they were older. They were older black women, and I was uh, doing my class. And at a certain point, I get this little thing where I talk about where um, you know kicking into action. And I, sometimes, usually with black people, I tell this joke like I don't do it anymore since this time. But I'll be like. But one time, I was on a flight back from Africa. It's a true story. Dude fell out on the plane. I'm sitting there, I'm asleep, and a dude collapsed next to me. Boom, 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 boom. I looked at him. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing CPI <laughs> in West Africa. Damn. <laughs> this is American Heart Association. Damn. Damn. <laughs> I'm going to be out We're not doing that. <laughs> Uh, you, you, it's your right to make sure a decision. To that too, you know what I'm saying? Man. But when I said that joke, usually that's like funny. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But when I said it there, yeah. Dead silence. Yeah. It was dead silence. Nobody laughed. Yeah. And it was a bunch of blue eyes, but it was two sets of brown eyes looking at me like, <laughs> really? That's your word. Hey, somebody put it on. Somebody say your favorite word. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, God damn, I just cooned. Yeah, you did. You did. <laughs> I didn't mean the coons. Did y'all talk about the Emmys? <laughs> huh? Did the y'all talk about Emmys and cooning? I don't know what to say. Well, that was the, the comedian dude. What's because his name? Oh, what we talked about, about earlier. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I kind of did it was cooning. Really? Well, I kind of did have a little, like, it was kind of like, okay, set that up. Hey, are we done with what we're talking about so we go there? Yeah, yeah, set that what up. What time are we at? We at 128. Okay, this is, so we do this and we go. Mm-hmm. Speak on it, Oliver. I think I gotta give a background of it too. So. Yeah, yeah, we gotta wrap it up, bro. What's the comedian? That guy, Michael Che. Yeah, because I can't remember. So he did a, a little skit at the Emmys about Emmys reparations. So we gave a lot of our black heroes who never won an Emmy. Was it was Regina King in there? Well, I said, no, Regina King won. No. It was Florence Pam, Henderson, Flora, Pam yeah. from Martin, JJ from Good Times, <laughs> Urkel. Dwayne Hardison. I mean, Dwayne Hardison and, Martin, could... <laughs> and, Martin, and uh, John Witherspoon and maybe a couple other people. And I guess the premise was that he took Bill Cosby, Bill Cosby's Emmys and gave them to mm-hmm, those people. I guess more deserving blacks. If you want to kind of question, mm-hmm. did the Academy? I guess that's how you say it. Did the Academy take? No, this was a skit. This was just a skit. No, I mean in real life. Did they take Bill Cosby's? I, don't think so. 
Yeah, I don't think so. So why the fuck was he taking them? Fact <laughs> check real quick. He's a skit, but he's a comedian. It was just jokes. It'd have been funny if they actually took him, that and it would be worse. Be, that would be kind of funny. <laughs> well, be <vacant>. right. <laughs> I'll let him. Okay, and so he gave. He, he basically gave. So proceed. To, so, so basically, uh, to say in other words, that was, that was the factual. In other words, basically, comedians or actors and actresses. Who've been in really good programs that we saw all these years through our childhood, who did really good jobs, they're memorable, the lovable characters, but they never got any accolades. Never got any recognition. Like Pam from Martin. From Martin. Yeah. She did do a fucking good job. Yeah. I mean, yeah, support Pam from Martin, she was on uh, Everybody Hates Chris. Yeah, yeah, she, she was, was good on, in that one. Uh, she deserved a fucking Emmy. Yeah. This yeah. LeBron show that he has. She was really good in that, too. Uh, baller? Like, no, not Baller. Uh, the show with Mike Hips, uh, right? Yeah. Yeah, Mike Hips. Yeah, I know Mike Hips. Like, it was actually, it's actually. It's actually a really good show. Survivor 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 and it's like I feel like it threw off the whole tone of the show, so I, st- I never got back to it. Actually, the thing was because the, the the app I was watching on um, it got that don't even matter. Removed, but it don't matter. Whatever. I didn't watch. I watched up to a prank. But I it was. I mean, again, maybe you start, maybe you gave up on because I think some shows they take the time to find itself. Mm-hmm. But maybe once it, I, th- I I thought it was really good. I thought it was well done. I thought it was, it was surprisingly good. It was cool. It was a different perspective. The premise was dope to me. I liked it. It was cool. I liked the premise, but it was just corny. It, it just I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it was a, hold on, hold on. It was a little corny, but go ahead. But she was dope in that. She, mm-hmm. Michael Che. Yeah, she dope in everything. So the skit though. Yeah. Michael Trey. Uh, Michael Che, he did, he did the skit, and in that skit, he's giving back the Emmys back to the people. So is it is it the Bill Cosby thing? Is that is that the crux of where y'all feel like the woman comes in and like? Yeah. It was almost like. See, that's the difference, though. See, he he's on the fuck Bill Cosby. I mean, I am no, too, no, to no, a degree, no, no, but not fuck Bill Cosby. Well, that's what you said earlier. Motherfuck oh, okay. Bill Cosby. Okay. We just on. Yeah. I mean, it's fucked up, but it's just cancel. like we on the cancel Bill Cosby. Nah, fuck that motherfucker. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck who, like he's America's dad, but that nigga's a fucking rapist. That nigga. I don't even. I don't like using that word on the podcast. Okay. However. Fuck that nigga. So take away his accolades. I say that. Yeah. I, I realize I'm a nigger on this. You are. Podcast. You are. You are. For the, to be the good guy, you are. I'm a when I use it once, I use it eight times. It's <laughs> an edge for you. Exactly. Um, a gateway drug. I'm <laughs> hey, um, this vodka ain't bad. I'm a little further along. It's like thing, 80 really. proof. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, that's why, that's why you lost that Michael Chase shit like that? Yeah. I saw you. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you lose it. Like, yeah. Get back, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, man. I'm nobody's nigga. <laughs> I'm Mr. Uh, Tibbs. Call me Mr. Tibbs. You get one podcast a month, I mean a year, a season. Woo, because that, that, yeah, that reminds me of that damn Crown Royal Vanilla podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> boy, 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 boy. I don't Is know. that what you feel? Yeah. Uh, was, was that, was that, how did that sound? I don't, I don't know. I don't remember. I, I don't Anything know. memorable? I, Come out of that drunkness? Yeah, yeah that's about, I don't know why, but I shit on Antoine Hall for some reason. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and I like Antoine. I remember what I did there for. But anyway, go back. Michael Che. Go. Time. It was a little bit of cooning to it. That's what, that's what me and her kind of felt yeah, like. I think it works when I switch back. Yeah, we kind of make it feel like um, that he kind of... Um, he threw away Bill Cosby, so he kind of like, "Hey, white people, fuck the yeah. nigga." So we can so let these other niggas. other niggas. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, y'all can have this nigga. It was, it was a little bit of like, "I'm gonna I'm put this nigga on the stake for y'all for all these other yeah, niggas." I don't know if it was that serious, yeah. but I get, it. I get. It. I get well, it. that's why I was like, I don't want to kill like the joke, the skit. But I thought it was super dope though. It, it was, was, was to was acknowledge, and that's what like, I'm saying, like, like to dope. acknowledge them. That, I mean, real talk, this is like. It took a negative Nancy to like, make, help me see. Yeah, Because yeah. <laughs> I'm like, when I heard them, like. That's what that is, y'all talking about. See? <laughs> it's all, it all, all comes together. together. <laughs> it's all simple, see? Bring your brother to the podcast. It's all sarcasm, my 
my father's child. Seneca, <laughs> sarcasm. Hey, that's who I am, right? The bastard. Um, <laughs> and a shitty. Yeah, the bastard. And yeah. I was told that I acted shitty, so. Yeah. Did, you, did you? You was told that? I can see that. My uncle, the one who just called me. Yeah. He had a problem with you acting shitty? No. We were accused of acting shitty. Okay. Well, let me just do Why? Tell him to come to the party. No. Okay. No. no, no, no. We need granddad. We need granddad. No. Tell him to come to the party. No. Here. Come where? No, he's going home Thursday. Right, Thursday. Damn. What'd that say? Tuesday. Who you do this on Tuesday, don't we? Yeah, we I want on Thursday, but... Uh, nah, I work Fridays. I'm Friday. I work from home Friday. Fuck you. I thought you were... I thought you were... Off. I work from home two days out the week. Oh. Your life is awesome. It's not bad. Have you got it every ass? Oh, who? Empty ass. Yeah. Mm. So I'm trying done. to get to three days. Are we done? <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, that's that's that new shit. Yeah. That's that new shit. Are we yeah. done? Hey, when well, you was real wild, you can lick it. You're like, it's real wild. Hey. <laughs> I don't know why that's, I feel violent. Yeah, I know. I know. It's just, it's just <laughs> I can see how I felt, but. It's, um. Uh, mm. Connotations. But, um. Uh, mm. It's, uh. <laughs> I saw, I saw this on the um. Like, don't hear like, <laughs> This is still recording. I'm playing. Like, hey, Todd Fairbanks, like, like, subscribe. Oh, you're